Ravel's La Valse is a masterpiece for all sorts of different reasons. First of all, we have associated with it now a certain iconic status of music of that time, the way the Rite of Spring represents the chaos of that time. La Valse is the overthrow of the old aristocracy. It's the overthrow of the old. It came after the war. Nothing was ever going to be the same. Waltzes were never going to be the same. And La Valse is the soundtrack for that. Also, Ravel was a genius orchestrator. We know this from music that he arranged, from other pieces that he wrote, and so his treatment of this music in the orchestra is nothing less than sensational. It is an orchestra that is exploding with color, and his manipulation of the lilt of the waltz as it's passed around the orchestra and turned upside down and broken apart and deconstructed is nothing less than, than sheer mastery it's of the form and of, of the materials at hand. But the other thing is that it draws you in. Essential music, great music, remains that way because of the hold that it has on us at any moment that we listen to it. So Laval's had an impact when it was premiered and, you know, a hundred years out, it still has, even though we are familiar with all of the music that came after it, it still hits us as incredibly original music because it speaks to that one essential thing that music does best, which is to get straight past all the noise to the heart of the problem to communicate directly with the listener and to make them feel something that they wouldn't feel otherwise. And Lavalse does that as well as any piece that Ravel ever wrote and that's saying a lot. <laughs>